This is a live look at Cape Canaveral, Florida right now. Later tonight, after a series of delays and troubled test flights, two NASA astronauts will be heading to the International Space Station aboard the Boeing Starliner. CTV's Tony Grace joins us now with more. Tony, good Monday morning mm -hmm. to you. A lot of anticipation for this launch, and should we say, finally, this launch. Yes, finally this launch. And Marcia, does it get any better than the fact that they, they rolled the rocket out onto the launch pad on May the 4th? Mm. Star Wars Day, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, a lot of conversations surrounding this, uh, not only because of excitement, but because of the anticipation. As you mentioned, you know, this is going to be uh, Boeing's uh, Boeing's had multiple runs at test runs already and has had some some problems that they've encountered in 2019 and again in 2022. Uh, so this will be the first time that a Boeing um, spacecraft will be testing out taxiing astronauts to the International Space Station. It's going to be SUNY Williams and Butch Wilmore going uh, two retired Navy captains. They'll be going on a two week test flight. Remember, NASA has turned to private companies to taxi astronauts to and from the ISS ever since the space shuttle program ended. Boeing's Starliner seen as a huge test, not only for technology, for capability, but for the next chapter on this path forward in ISS missions as the ISS uh, begins to enter its uh, sunset phase, shall we say. You know, the, the next uh, 10, 15 years or so is about all that's left for the ISS. So this will be a critical component of taking us through that chapter. Now, Tonight at 10.34 Eastern Time, that's when the launch window opens, Marcia. And if all goes as planned and if that launch does happen at 10.34, it'll be about a 26-hour journey to get to the ISS. And then again, again, about two weeks there for those two astronauts before they come back to Earth. And there's a Canadian connection. Yes, uh, Joshua Kutrick, who's from Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta, uh, former Air Force uh, a Canadian astronaut. He's going to be the capsule communicator. So imagine this. He's going to be in Mission Control in Houston. The launch happens from Cape Canaveral, Florida, by the way. Mission Control, of course, is in Houston. He's going to be there, and he's going to be the one whose responsibility it will be to make sure that communication is relayed effectively from Mission Control to the crew, that there's no misinterpretation, that any emergencies can be dealt with swiftly. You know, for his part, he says he's very excited to be part of this. He's going to be on um, a future Starliner mission. He's scheduled to be on the next on, on a Starliner mission to the International Space Station no earlier than next year, where he's scheduled to spend six months up there. So for him, this is going to be an inside window into a, a flight, a process, a journey that he will eventually be undertaking himself. He'll kind of be able to see this from both sides once he does take that journey. So a very exciting moment for him. And by the way, Jeremy Hansen, who of course is part of the Artemis II mission, has been on hand at Cape Canaveral for a bunch of the pre-launch activities. So some Canadian connections to this uh, potentially historic moment tonight, Marcia. Great stuff. And we'll be watching, of course, later tonight. Mm -hmm. Tony Grace, thanks for that. You're welcome.